Welcome to Sweet Nine Pod. We're back. It is, what's today, Wednesday? Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Wacky is, Wednesday. <laughs> Wacky Wednesday. What episode is this for us? This would be the fifth episode. Oh, damn, we had number five, dude. Five episodes, five followers. I mean, we got more than five, but it's pretty close hey. to five. I think we're at seven. I'm thinking that we're up there further than yeah. that. I need to check the numbers more recently. Let's check the numbers on that, see where we're at. Welcome to Sweet Nine Pod. Uh, Arizona's fastest growing podcast. I'm just going to like just double us that dude. We're Arizona. I don't know how many statistics or anything, but we're Arizona's fastest growing podcast. We don't back that up with any valid. For, listen, facts. from a percentage standpoint, like let's say we started with five and then in this last week we had seven. Okay. That's two followers that added onto the five. That's like, that's 40% Huge growth. That's 40% growth. Huge so growth. technically we could be Arizona's fastest growing podcast. Now could I'm not, be. I don't know what's going to happen with that, but. Whatever. Take it for what you will. So we're here. Uh, I don't know what anything, uh, anything good happened. Whoa, the holidays are over. We haven't, have we potted since Christmas? Yeah, it was after, yeah. Oh yes, after Christmas. This we is did the one. first episode we did one of the after New Year. Christmas one. Yeah, New Year, yes. New Year's, baby. We did one after Christmas. Okay. Talking about the Christmas holiday. <laughs> holiday. <laughs> we, we had them holidays, dude. Uh, New Year's. What'd you do for New Year's? You just had the house? No, you no, went. I had that run. Oh, Not the runs. Talk. I didn't have the runs. He might have had the runs. We could talk about that run, dude. We could do a quick quick chat on that run. But that, so, was, that was New Year's Day. That was New Year's Day. So New, New Year's, Year's night, I didn't, did nothing. You were t- well, about. you were conserving your body. I'm conserving my body. Drinking a lot of water. A lot of waters. Uh, prepping for the for the run. And the week of, we were trying to do a gallon of water a day. Did you do a gallon of water every day? I, I didn't. I didn't, for sure didn't do hit. one gallon. One day. Damn. So I sucked the whole time. You it still ran a lot. I mean, not a lot. I mean, during the run, I ran. I mean, I think a lot is a is a relative term. Not a lot, maybe for you, but a lot for me. <laughs> it's a lot for most people. Yeah. So you had a run. Explain the run, because I actually thought I didn't know yeah. all the shit that went into it, but I actually thought it was a good uh, a good little deal. And I, I found myself thinking, I'm like, man, how many how many could I do? Probably not a lot. I have to train for sure. Yeah, it's, yeah, that one's just, it's different. But that one is a uh, last person standing, not last man standing, because there was a female in there. There was so some, last person. There was some standing. woman's in there. Um, and what it is, is every 15 minutes, okay, you start, like, on the zero hour. Yeah, so 1 o'clock or whenever the yeah, fuck you started. Noon. We started at noon, actually. Started so at noon. At noon, you start. You have 15 minutes to go a mile. It's actually, it was a little over a mile. You go that mile. You got to be back by 14.59 because you're starting your next one at 15.01. Okay. And so then, I thought it would have been, so I get so I get that. So you start at noon and then if you're not, my thing was, if you're not back by 15, could you still try and DQ. make that, could you try still try and make nope. that second mile DQ. just before 30, but if you don't make it 30, then you're out? No, so you didn't even have like, a, I, the other last man's, last person standing I did was you had like a, kind of like a 30 second start time for your next loop. This one, it was literally like, if you don't leave at that 1501 within a second or two, you're done. You cooked. So... It was, and is this like a hard like? Do they set a hard line? Is like kind of like like hey, you were close. No, it was like literally. I had to run up there sometimes. That I was like sitting down, whatever. Just in my taking shoe. too long, yeah. Just, I mean, kind of trying to sleep for two minutes here and there. They were starting to count down, and they got to like three seconds, and they're like, "If you're not in here, you're done." <laughs> so, so I went. So Chav and I went and visited you. I want to get into the race in a second, but let me let me tell what happened when I was on my way up there. Oh, okay, okay, so uh, it's Saturday morning, and I knew your race was coming up, but I just didn't have a lot of details on it. Like you do, honestly, if I'm being really honest, like you do fucking races all the time, and I just can't fucking keep up with it, okay? Maybe it's only one every three months. I don't fucking know. But you do races enough that I'm just like, yeah, he's doing another race, like kind of is what it is kind of thing. You're just doing it at this point. Like if it, if it happened like once a year or like even once every few years and you were doing 100-mile races, it'd be like kind of a big deal. But since you do them all the time, it's like, hey, you're the one that took the fucking 
all the specialness out of it, not me. Okay. So this isn't my fucking problem. It's yours. All right. So don't fucking put it on me. So Saturday morning, we're all texting. Like, did you start your race or whenever you're like, Hey, I start at noon. And Chava goes, Hey, it's at, uh, Camelback park ranch. ranch. And I'm thinking Scottsdale. Cause I heard Camelback and I was thinking Scottsdale. I'm like, Oh shit. But I remember afterwards you were saying like, Oh, it was on the West side. But anyway, so he was like, so I text Chava on the side. I was like, Hey, let's go like drink a couple beers and just watch. I thought we'd like maybe stay on the sidelines. I didn't know we'd be like by your tent or whatever. So I'm like, cool. So I get going up the one Oh one. I'm like, let me find out where I'm going real quick. And I like, before I get to the two Oh two, I'm like, it's like on the West side. So I'm like, Oh shit. I got to like, I, your boy has to beeline. And I wasn't, I didn't have a, th- a lot of time that day. I actually only had like a couple hours. <laughs> so I was like, all right, well I'm just going to still like jam. So I called child. I'm like, Hey man, I thought it was on the, I thought it was on the East side. It's on the West side. I'll be there. It's going to be like 20 minutes later. I go, do you want me to pick up some tacos or something so we can eat? Cause I hadn't eaten yet. And a couple of beers. He's like, yeah, do it. So I just like quick Google when I'm getting close, like what's around. I'm like, dude, we're on the West side. We need taco shops everywhere. I was right. They were. And I found this little place called, uh, uh, some, it was, it was like the kitchen of my grandson. It's like Cosina something, Cosina something. And I'm like, oh, this will be a little mom and pop shop. This will be fucking fire ass food, which I was right. The burrito is one of the best burritos I've had in a long time. But dude, I pull up and I'm like, oh, it's kind of mom and pop. There's people eating breakfast. I was like, it's kind of weird. And I was like, I, you know, I got time. I could, I could order this. So I just order it and like good to go. And the guy that took forever to take my order, which I was like, oh, this is a bad sign to begin with. But I'm like, you know what? It'll probably be fine. And I'm like, 10 minutes, I'll be out of here, dude. So I order it. I'm like, damn, okay. So I'm sitting around, like 10 minutes go by. And then there's this like, other lady kind of standing behind me. I'm like, what's this lady doing? She's just fucking standing behind me. It's all weird. I didn't see her order anything. And then like 15 minutes goes by. And they do, there's this like, there's a wall, like a faux wall, like not load bearing wall. They just like built. And these like curtains, they kept hanging these curtains. And every time one of them would go in or out, they would like make a special point to like turn around and like close the curtains good. Like double cross the curtains. <laughs> like really, they didn't want you to see what the fuck was going on back there, which made me nervous. But I was like, you know what, mom and pop, like it's probably just like the daughter back there just like literally not doing anything and doesn't want anyone to see her. So I'm fucking 20 minutes goes by. I'm like, damn, dude, I'm like, this lady's still standing behind me. I'm like, I didn't think anything before, but now I'm starting to think, oh, that lady ordered before me and she's waiting for her food. And I'm like, oh, I'm in real trouble. Because now I'm at this point where like I ordered the fucking food, but what if it only takes 10 more minutes? I already paid for it. Like I just need to get the food and go. So dude, then like 30 minutes hits and that lady finally gets her food. And I'm like, oh shit, like I was right. So I asked the guy, I'm like, hey, man, like, how much longer on these two burritos and a quesadilla, like, is this going to take? And he's like, oh, it's five more minutes, five more minutes, dude, 15 more minutes go by. So I'm in here for 45 minutes, dude, and I'm getting so mad because it's like, if you would have just told me from the beginning, like, hey, 30, 45 minutes, like, I'd have been like, hey, man, I'm I'm sure it's good, but I got to go. Like, I just don't have that kind of time. But now... I only had two hours to begin with. I took 20 extra minutes to drive to the West side, then 45 minutes in this fucking burrito shop. <laughs> so dude, I burnt an hour. So I finally got my food and he was like, here you go. And like, didn't say anything like, no, like, Hey man, I'm sorry. That took 45 minutes for two burritos in the quesadilla, which could be made in five minutes, 10 minutes, most oh, so crazy. So I did that, stopped, hit the gas station real quick, bought a couple of 32 ounce uh, Coronas, the big Familiars or whatever the fuck they are. So we came by and saw you, um, and we brought you a quesadilla. How was the quesadilla? It was all right? Quesadilla was I'm sure good. you were hungry at that thick, point. It was thick and cheese. A little cheesy, huh? Thick and cheese, but a little cheesy. Fine. Okay. I mean, I didn't eat breakfast, so it's like that was breakfast. With yeah, dude. everything else that I ate. And uh, uh, queso has fucking protein in it, dude. Fucking cheese has protein in it. And carbs. And carbs left. and fat. I mean, it has literally everything. It's full of calories. So um, you were, had already been running for, at that point, for like an hour and 45, maybe yeah, two hours. hours. You were seven miles in, I think, yeah, we got seven, there? Seven, eight, probably. Four, two hours, yeah. So you had started, and I didn't know how many you were going to run. So your goal was to run 100 miles. Yeah. And I don't Didn't know do the most any, anyone else has ever run, but the most I've ever run, I mean, we're talking maybe three or four miles max. Colby, what's the most you've ever run in your entire life? In one consecutive, like maybe even call it like a four hour setting. Uh oh, shit. <laughs> I, and those probably like two and a half miles. Okay, I don't so, think I, I'm not. I don't have the endurance to go past that. I think. Okay, especially not right now. You boys got a little sniffles over there, dude. Hey, little sniffles over here. Little sniffs, dude. So you were already at seven, which is crazy, and then you went to now. Your goal was to go to a hundred, but we already knew based on the day it was gonna be a cold, cold soul bitch. Real cold. Cold. Real- 
cold. What and was actually the, it? Was supposed to be colder. So yeah, it was, it was going to be in the 30s, but I think it ended up being in the it, 40s, right? It was, no, it was 37. Okay. At the like the 5 a.m. time. Um, so cool. But and you're running in what shorts? Shorts um, and a jacket, like a long sleeve shirt, and then like a windbreaker to try to keep the kind of like the body heat in. But your undershirt is wet, so it's like you, you be sit sweating. down. You Sweat start like getting a cold, and then you get back. Well, you know, you're sitting by a fire, so you're like, it's not bad now. Yeah. Then you go out from that thing to start again the next loop, and it's like, yeah, it's still 37 out. And everyone's like, oh, you're sweating like a pig. And you were like, and it was like, sooey. And they were calling you out there. And then they tried to cook me. That's <laughs> you making those chicharrones with your skin, dude. <laughs> um, nope, made it to mile uh, on their tracker because the, the, it was a little bit longer than a mile. So their tracker made it to, I think, 70 miles is what I made it to. On my watch, it said 72. Um, after that. That was probably the, oh, the back and forth from your chairs. It could be that, but it, 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 it they they said it was longer than a mile. But a we're over. calling it a mile just for the fact that we're not, we're going to keep, but we're going to keep track by loops, not. And don't be a little bitch about it. Pretty much. Like, yeah. And they're every, every time on those type of races ish. Yeah, miles, I mean, how they gonna get a fucking exact based on the exactly. sidewalk? Everyone's everyone's watch. What if you go to the bathroom? Like, yeah, are you, what are you gonna complain about it? Like, so, yeah, don't be a bitch. I so, get it. in the end, seventy miles. Um, the other two, I was the third person left, and then I was. So, so there's three. Okay, well, hold on. Let's set the tone though. So you get to you start at noon. You get to four in the morning. Four. Yeah. Four in the morning. Motherfuckers, I'm guessing, are dropping like flies at this point because it's there real cold. a lot. So there's only, we started, it was 11 people. Okay. And then what were you at like at midnight? Um, probably around five or six people. So this is like the fucking OGs once you get to midnight. Because now you're talking about fucking 12 hours running. Yeah. Which is a lot. You lose a couple right off the first eight hours. Because why? What's wrong with them? I mean, they're, they. I'm not trying to talk shit. Like, obviously, I'm not in the fucking race, but. For the race to do just. See how far they can push themselves. See how far they can push themselves without like hurting. So they're themselves. more like a so me. It's like, yeah, you go out yeah. there and it's like, can, how how long can I run fifteen minute miles? Yeah, you know. Okay. So it's I you feel know, that it's a, it's a you're always coming back to an aid station. You're your the bathroom's there. Like you have a lot of options over. If you go out on a trail run, you're doing 15, 30 miles. You don't have there's that. nothing. There's nature. When nature calls, you go. <laughs> yeah, get snake bit in your ass. <laughs> And then you get you get friends suck it off. Yeah, yeah, you suck the uh, venom out. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> midnight, there's six people left. Yeah, probably five, six. Yeah. Five, six, and then between then and four a.m., a couple, a couple drop out. Drop. Yeah. So then I was, and is that like a noticeable thing when these motherfuckers drop out? So when when and everyone's first, like running by, like oh, when they like, first the first few drop, it's like it doesn't even really phase you because it's like. So I early. know the people that are going to be left in the last okay. five. Because you've raced with these guys before. Raced them, and you can just tell, like, how they're pacing themselves and, like, what they're doing. Like, you know. Their mannerisms, if you will. It. Yeah. Um, so after those first ones, first couple go, okay, you start to, like, kind of, like, all right, if I can push a little bit longer than that one, if I can push a little. And it's, like, so you'll start, like, you'll try to start listening to see, like, are they are they hurting? Are they hungry? Oh, are they, so you're really like fucking measuring yourself against tent. them. You're in the tent, like a little heated tent where you're like sitting there waiting, like just trying to see like, are these guys coming in here, sitting in a chair, closing their eyes for two minutes and they're feeling good or is it making it worse for them? Okay. Because I was I'm over here thinking, eating hot dogs and shit. <laughs> yeah. So you're out here deep throwing hot dogs. <laughs> That's what took me out of the hot for that. dog, dude. When you get that like half mile back, you got a keister one in case, in case you get in the back and get <laughs> a little snack hungry. for later, dude. Yeah. So I was thinking like it'd probably be like you versus yourself, but really it, it is you versus yourself clearly, but there is a little bit more of like, like where are these motherfuckers at? Cause yeah. the, the worst they do, like, obviously you want everyone to do well. It's not about like, Hey, I want this guy to fuck himself up. But like the worst they do, you're kind of like, you know what? I'm feeling better than that guy. Yeah. And I can fucking make it. I can keep going. I can do at least do one more. And who knows what the fuck that guy's going to yeah. do. That guy could not make it through this loop, which Snap happened. His leg the and guy I was with, um, Keith, he, we were running together most of all the miles. Okay. On and off, he would go run a little faster. I'd go run a little faster, whatever. Pay like setting pace 50, for each other, yeah, right? Yeah, but mile 50, we started together. It rolls around, and like they start counting down to like get back up to start 51. 
he's nowhere in sight. And is there like a gentleman's agreement? Like, hey, we're going to stay by each other? Or like once you're like, no, hey, one of you falls off. Like we're going to try and stay with each other. But like if one of you falls off, like you got to can't sacrifice yourself. No. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's there is to a point and all the races are a little yeah. different. But on something like this, it's like when somebody starts feeling bad, you can try to get them out of it. But you can't. How long? You can't how, carry them. You're yeah. going to fucking drag them. It's the, it's yeah. against the rules. Because you're, fu- you're fucking tired too. Um, So he ended up not making it through that the start line to get to the next one because he he just only finished the 50 or whatever. So it's like that part sucks because then it's like, man, the the kind of the two-man team vibe we had it's of over. like pushing, it's now like now own. it's just on my own. And it's like and you all, those other people, all those other people you were with, they were all – everyone was good and friendly and like yeah. helped out on, you know, if they have a crew, they'll crew will go grab you something. But they ain't making you quesadillas. No, they, well, no, they're, they're, they're not, they're not stations, key, though. They're not keystone hot dogs for you, dude. They're no, not on your well, team per se. That's what took me out is a hot dog. <laughs> Had a bag of beef jerky and an energy drink, mile seven or sixty nine. Then I came back at seventy and had that hot dog, and it sounded so good. But when and I you was stopped out there, at seventy, I I finished seventy, so I stopped that. I didn't even go out for seventy one. Would have been cool if you stopped at sixty nine. No, well, I didn't, honestly, at that time my brain was not necessarily working very well, so I was like, I don't even know where I'm at because every my watch tells me a a total time frame. So now I got to start mm. times it by four, and when it's getting late and twenty four hours. Oh I yeah, mean, you're twenty four hours of no Too sleep, much no way, not. You're doing not really it. a math guy to begin with. No, so. phone phone could do math for me. The yeah. phone, the hey phone. So. So that was that. And then the other, I mean, the two leaders, the guys that continued after I dropped, they went to 109 and 110. So did I have another 40 miles in me? No. I mean, it's not like at that time. Over 50% of what you already ran. So it's a lot. Yeah. If, if there's a lot of this that could have changed it, but the temperatures for me and the, the darkness, like from 12 hours of darkness from six to six. It's like pitch black. And then, yeah, you're at a park, but at the same time, it's like, dude, it starts playing mind games. A little scary. Like, is it a little I'm, scary? Is there a bobcat really. in the bushes? There's there's one-legged coyotes on the uh, the baseball fields to keep off the geese. <laughs> They're legitimate. <laughs> I, thought, is. I thought you were, like, saying you saw shit. I'm like, oh, damn. No, no, we get delirious out there. No, not on this one. I didn't see anything. But um, So how did Keith – what happened to Keith? So we so, you started one, but then didn't finish. We saw what he started his mile, but then you kept yeah, going. So he didn't he, finish. So he didn't finish. So he just hung out um, in like the little warming tent area and just kind of crewed me for the rest of and the mile. How, how old is Keith? Because I met Keith. He's, he's got like, like a beard. He's like he's, got a, he's a bearded man, but he's in good shape. Fifty years old. Boys in shape. Yeah, tatted up. Yeah, to the nines. Probably up to his neck. He's up there. He's got yeah. He's got him all over. Yeah, um, always tatted. Uh, uh, really good, cool guy. He just moved out to Colorado. He cool seemed guy. nice to me. Yeah. Um, and very helpful. Like when he was done, yeah, it sucked for him, but guess what? Like now I'm here trying to support you to try to help see if you can, how far you can go, whatever. But everything, you know, I, I pulled it at 70, this, that, and the other. And so I'm sitting down cleaning up or sitting down there like Keith and, uh, Chachi that were there helping me as well. Uh, so they crew. came in the middle of the night. Yeah. Chachi came back in the middle of the night oh, wow. for a while. Um, then they started cleaning up and, uh, they were cleaning up. And I'm sitting there. I kind of dozed off in a chair, woke back up. Hey, we're all ready to go. So we start walking out, like walking to the parking lot. He's like, shit, dude, I just got lightheaded. And I'm like, damn, all right, we'll just sit down for a second. We'll just sit yeah. down, sat down, whatever. And then um, after that, He's, he's like, I got to take a piss. I'm like, all right, go ahead. I'll just, I'll pull So he was wagon. out of the race and, I mean, he was like relatively fine out of yeah, the race. He like clearly fine. he like, wasn't good to keep running, but like he was no, like he operating. Was out of, yeah, he was perfectly fine yeah. up to that point. So it was like kind of weird. As fine as you can be after running 70 miles or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah, 50 at that time for him. Okay. Plus being out there in the cold for the next like freezing as a three to four yeah. hours. Yeah. Um, So he goes and, and, you know, starts walking to the bathroom. I'm, I'm carrying his wagon next to you. No, know, like we're pretty much through like the, main street of the little race area or whatever and he starts like stumbling we're like what the next thing you know he just falls for falls real. into a tent and it's like and he's like i mean heads down like this like he's not like, operational he's keith like keith what it, what's going on so like medical tent was like littered right across the way came and got him they don't 
I don't know what they, they did a test on him. They gave him, hooked him up on oxygen and stuff. It's got to it be just like, exhaustion at that point. Exhaustion. I think that what they decided is like exhaustion and just like having, so he had like a long sleeve shirt, but he had then a cotton t-shirt over it where the cotton t-shirt, like it was gray. You could see the sweat mark on his back, which was like see his cold. touching his back. So body temperature was dropping. Yeah. And his body just, was like, hey, we've had enough. Yeah. No more fucking running. No more fucking cold. Fucking Get us down, warm dude. and stop moving. Otherwise, we're going to fucking shut down your bitch yeah, ass. I mean, wa- Not a bitch ass. Obviously, I'm the bitch. Probably should have just He's, got out of their clothes. Yeah. Got out should of like, wet him. clothes. Yeah. He's still in his wet clothes, still in his wet socks, still, like, just all that stuff. And it's like, I had gloves for him. Keith, it's your fault you didn't do that. Had a beanie for you. Keith, Keith if your you're fault listening, you didn't do that. Keith, had, are you subscribed or not? Okay. <laughs> are you? I had a windbreaker you could have wore, Keith. You know, so, so it's just not poor decision making, but like he just didn't know that was going to happen. So he probably could have made a few better decisions along the way. So next time, I'm sure if he knows that call, he's like, hey, this happened to me last time. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably throw that, probably change my clothes and throw some warm clothes on so my, let my body recover a little bit. Yeah. So he fell into the tent. Medical comes out. Gets him. They put him on a stretcher. What happens? No, nah, we, we were able to walk him. They hit him with the fucking... The <laughs> clear <shocked> his ass. <laughs> shocked us. He jumped. He was like, I'm awake. And they were like, clear, dude. Hit that him again. That guy's been waiting to use that thing. You know, fucking Jared's in that tent, dude. Just want to be EMT. Can't pass his test. And he's just waiting to use those hammers, dude. Put it on somebody. He wished it was you, but you wouldn't fall. But now Keith fell. You know, he's got his opportunity. He's going to come after him with those things, dude. He, he was rubbing them. I like passed this. out. And I passed out. In the car? No, in the medical tent. So we waited there. We had to wait oh, there. Oh, shit. I thought it was going to take like 10, 15 minutes because I was going to drive home. And so I'm sitting in like a chair. In this Is this the tent. best sleep you've ever had in your entire life? Like when this happens? Like mm-hmm. you're just so tired? Nah, because you're kind of like sore. Uh, so it's not. And actually I've slept worse like the last two or three nights. Because your body's like revved up, right? It's Well, it's like at that time adrenaline is still going now it's like soreness, so you can't get comfortable in bed mm. anyway. Swollen. So it's, yeah, it's just, it's uncomfortable for a couple of days. Um, take an edible, though, it would help. Shout out to edibles, dude, yep. for getting us through it. Um, but then, so I, so I'm sitting in this chair and he's, I mean, he's, he's coherent to a point, but he's definitely out of it. They're working on him and, and I'm in his chair and I'm like, I'm doing a bobblehead over there. I almost fell out of his chair. <laughs> the person in the medical tent said, you need to lay down because we can't work on two of you guys. Hold on, I'll let you get back to it. <laughs> Remember the story? So me and, for those of you guys who don't know, Lucas and I lived together. We, You first moved out and got an apartment. It's the first time you lived by yourself. And then I moved into it, right? Yeah. I don't, did, you, did you move in by yourself or did you move in with a girl and then she moved out? That apartment on... Yeah, Hampton. Like, Hampton. Yeah, Hampton. Hampton. But I don't remember. I think it was... I think you just moved in by yourself and then you're like, Hey, fuck paying for this by myself. And I came in and then like Steve came in after. So we lived together and then we went and got a different house together after that. I think we like, everyone went home after that for a little bit. Cause you're like young twenties and you're trying to make it. And then everyone went home and then we went to a different house on cat claw, mm-hmm. right? It was in Lindsay. Gilbert backed up to the railroad tracks. And so we had a roommate move in who used to be in the Marines and he was still in the Marines at the time. And he was a recruiter. But when he came in, uh, he had a month off of work and we had this thing called hell month where he, we, we called it hell month cause he wasn't working for a month and he was like, all of his buddies were coming to town and he was like a heavy drinker. So we were getting like hammered like every single night. And remember you were working for that construction guy, like you were doing like roofing or whatever. And we go out and fucking party until two, three, four in the morning every night. Like it was insane. And you would get up and go to work at six wow. and it was like a week straight of just like going hard. And you were with your boss. Oh my God. I'll never forget the story. You were with your boss and you're, <laughs> you're with a client who's on the other side of this picnic table at this like park, like you guys like in a park. And you said you, <laughs> everybody was talking and you fell asleep sitting up and fell, fell off the table into a bush. <laughs> while they were having a fucking business meeting and your boss was like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> so dude, anytime you talk about you getting bobblehead, that's like all I think about is just like, what if we were having a business meeting like now and you just like fucking fell asleep and fell off the table? I mean, I would, anyone did, not even just me. Don't anyone, just me. I would anybody. absolutely die laughing. Just die laughing. It's the fucking funniest thing I can think of. It's It's scary because right before you hit something, you're like, I'm falling. <laughs> and that's where it's like, oh, shit. Uh, how much, what am I going to grab onto? So you were bobbleheaded. So I was bobbleheaded. And then they told me, like, you need to lay down and sleep. Like, you. Oh, they're making you sleep now. Well, well Jared has his paddles out. And he's going to fucking try and enforce his laws on you, up. huh? Um, Keith was still 
you know, getting more. He was like, get your cheeks out. Get your cheeks out. He's like, you need to wake up. Hitting you in so the butt cheeks. I laid, there, the I laid there and I actually fell asleep within like two minutes. Um, and it was cold outside though, right? It was cold. We were in a tent, so they had a heater in there. But, but it's probably still relatively not it was warm. still pretty chilly, yeah. yeah. Um, but I, I changed my clothes as soon as I finished. But um, then I woke up. It was 7 o'clock or something. Sun's up. Drove home. That was the... That That's was all she standard. wrote. Yeah, and then it's like trying to get to sleep at with the sun up. And, and you got three kids in the house, so how's that? Um, I slept for like two hours, um, then woke up, took down the Christmas lights on the house, like got the ladder out. What the fuck is wrong with you? I had barely enough energy on Sunday to take my, down my Christmas lights and I didn't do any of that shit. It's uh, it was, you were like, I'm up, just ran a bunch. I would have definitely gave myself a pass and be like, Hey, I just ran 70 miles, not taking down the Christmas lights today. I got up on the roof and it was, Oh, the ladders, the ladders were questionable. And then I had to put the, push that stuff up in the attic. Woo. Oh, almost died. Oh, but I hate that part. I uh, active I, recovery is better than no recovery. Okay. Like, <laughs> well, hey, and that's you could take that to the bank. Okay, active recovery. Uh, I don't like getting up on ladders. I've never fucking liked it. Uh, in fact, so you and I both used to work for a company called. I think we should probably just say it, Team Fischl. Okay, so I was working at uh, Bondurant, the racing school outside of high school. A bunch of drama, bullshit. I wasn't really making any money. I think I was making like maybe. Actually, at that point, I was probably making like forty or fifty thousand dollars a year because I moved into a sales position, and I was like, "Fuck this, this is bullshit." I want to go make more, and I knew in construction I could make more. Ryan Haley worked for him, so I was like, "Let's go work for Ryan." So he puts me on a, on the aerial team, which is like aerial can be like all the stuff on the telephone poles, so like either power, but we were working on all the uh, telecommunication stuff. So it's lower, so it's like always the powers on top because they want the furthest away from people, and then telecommunications is like, <laughs> dude, maybe. 10 to 12 feet off the ground. Like it's usually not that high. Yeah, it depends where. But they would put me up in that, they would put me in a truck and put me up in that bucket and raise me up, dude. And I fucking hated it, dude. I was strapped in and everything, in a bucket, like a big ass. There was like shit all around me and I was still scared to death. So I did that for about a month. And I was like, fuck this, I'll go dig holes, dig holes for a while. And in, even now, anytime I have to like get up on my ladder, and mine's so easy, there's like two spots I have to get on my roof and there's like easy tile walkway I have shit to grab onto and I fucking hate it, dude. I hate it so much. Granted, usually I'm wearing sandals when I do it because it's like fucking hella nice outside. Shout out to Arizona. Uh, but I just, uh, I can't stand it, dude. Like the other day we had to get on that roof at Poinsettia. I, <laughs> I got off the ladder fine. So like we, <laughs> we have this house that's like flat, flat roof. roof. And uh, we had a roofer over there, and he had, like, a, just a one straight ladder up there. And the ladder went, like, maybe f- three or four feet over the oh, edge of the roof. That's so exactly what you're supposed to do. Plenty. It was textbook. It wasn't tied off, but... It wasn't was, tied off. It was but the problem was you couldn't just climb up the ladder and over. You had to, like, climb off the ladder and to the side. Well, when you climb to the side, there's, like, just this one thing you're going to stand on. You kind of have to you kind of have to let go for a second. On the ladder? And you're standing on the edge of the roof like this. Yeah, on the parapet wall. You're standing on the parapet wall. Don't know what that means, but it sounds correct. You're standing on the parapet wall, and I'm just like, man, if I had just one misstep, I'm falling off this motherfucking roof. Backwards. Now, forward, I'm going, I'm good, because I just walk, I can just quick go forward. Now, the problem was getting off, right? Because I had to, like, I had to come towards the para- parapet wall, and I'm facing out towards certain death, okay? Definitely towards certain death. New Or new rocks and ficus. Oh, God, it sounds so painful to fall off that and i have to turn myself around and get on the ladder all the while i don't really have much to fucking hang on to besides this ladder that's not really attached to anything i did not like that at all i didn't like it in fact you went back up on the roof and i didn't fucking go back up there and i'm not going back up there i have a new rule i'm not getting on fucking roofs anymore so i don't know i don't know where we were at in the story but i just fuck uh, oh because you were changing christmas lights as you were also oh, yeah, so and i'm just like sore. even as a normal person like, i don't want to fucking do it yeah but since then i think today I'm about 80% not sore anymore. So I'm like 20% that's good. that still need to get like muscled. Rubbed. That beer will help. Probably. That'll level you out. That's cool. Other than that, New Year's for me, that was it. I mean, New Year's Day, that was New Year's Day. So that's that how a, I start off my New Year's Day. That was a whole deal. I mean, that was a, so that was a whole day. I, my New Year's Day didn't really sh- do shit, dude. Uh, I, we weren't going to do the whole midnight thing. I was like, if I'm not going to go out and like kind of do something, and honestly, even at this point, even if I did, I'm just like barely make it to midnight and fucking go home unless I'm like really getting after it. Um, you know, I knew I was going to make it till midnight. So we just like got in bed. We were watching movies. Problem is, you know, 
I don't know where the fuck these motherfuckers get these fireworks at, but these are like going. legit. Yeah, they're going. People think just because we can allow to do the poppers on the ground, they're going to throw up some grenades in the air, and they're just going off, dude. And my kids did not like it at yeah. all. My daughter uh, was like, she's like, what is that? I'm like, listen. I was like, they're fireworks. I go, you know what fireworks are because she likes 4th of July. I go, you know what fireworks are? I go, you remember when we pop them off? I go, it's just everybody else popping off fireworks. I go, We'll do some, you know, later on, whatever. I go, you just got to go to bed. Dude, fucking did not happen. She just like, kept waking up, waking up, waking up. Uh, but then eventually she went to sleep, and then I was just, dude, maybe fucking 9, 30, 10 o'clock. I was asleep. I was out, dude. I didn't do shit. And then I went and saw you the next day. That was it. New Year's Eve is not. Not know. what it used to be. Colby, you still do, you fuck around for New Year's Eve or what? Um, Gen Z, our Gen Z advisor? Yeah, you know, I. I do. It's just that, like, when I go out and I do stuff with my friends, I haven't been able to actually, like, go to bars up until just this year. Okay. So, like, if anything, we would go to uh, to the Dunes. Um, Shout out to the Dunes. Yeah, we would go dunes out Dunes are fun on New Year's because you can kind of get it out, get after oh, it yeah. out there. And if you even if you make it till midnight or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Dude, You're not really going to remember anyways. Yeah. The thing is, there's people up until, like, 4 a.m., like, riding still. Like, yeah, yeah fireworks like, to go off, but, like... Dude, people and their razors or quads are just bra- bra- just going through the entirety of like the washes. Yeah, yeah, that's a new uh, dunes for New Year's is fun. That'd be a fun little trip to make next year. It's pretty fun. You just got to make sure you have the, like the right uh the right squad with you. And you did you go to the bar? You went to the bar this year, right? You went to downtown Chandler. Uh, no, we went to uh, Gilbert. Yeah, to Gilbert. The perch or what? Uh, no, we went to uh, of, the, of course Chandler. Oh, that's that's not the perch. Uh, the porch. The porch. I'm sorry. Oh, I said okay. the perch. I, I said meant the porch. porch. Yeah. Yeah. No, we didn't go there. Uh, we went to Dirks just because like that's the biggest thing there. But yep. then we also went to Champs, which is like a, just a ritual there. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go. Yeah, and uh, we we took shots of tequila, uh, at Champs, and what that, kind? Do you remember uh, the kind? Dude, my friend just said we're taking tequila shots, and I'm like, you're paying for it, so I'm all good. You want one of these? You would need one of this El Compadre. Oh, straight out of Mexico, dude. Is straight out of Mexico. Oh. Mexico. It's authentic right there. So you did that. You stayed out till midnight, I take it. Yeah, I took it out until till midnight and then decided, all right, I gotta go back home now. Oh, and my how friend. many how many girls tried to kiss you at midnight? How many was it? Uh there I don't think that there there was one girl that was like talking to me, but I don't remember honestly much from that. Really? Hell okay, yeah. so tequila yeah. shots really got Hell after you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got there's like this one girl that came up to me. I remember her and she was like, You're like Jack Harlow. Dude. And I was like, Yeah. Lean and, into that shit. And then Fucking. she bought tequila shots and I was like, Oh damn. Shit. So you started with tequila shots. She came in and bought more for yeah. you, which is a hot mm-hmm. move. Anytime they're hey, buying for yeah. you. But then she obviously was drunk. She wandered probably. Oh, I was trying to see like where she was because she was asking like where her sister was. I was like, oh, I thought I saw her somewhere like over where, but yeah, no, I don't know. She just went off. Yeah. Okay. Well, so either way, didn't, mm. didn't, didn't produce. No, no. That's all right. No, dude. I mean, me and fuck New Year's, man. Hey, fuck New Year's. And honestly, man, I don't know that lady. She probably seems like a nice lady, but fuck her too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? New Year, new me. Ooh. Yeah. You know? hey, she's, she's in the past, dude. Yeah. We're a new version of Jack Harlow here. Yeah, and if we're being well, real, like twenty twenty wasn't twenty twenty one wasn't the greatest year of all time. So honestly, I didn't have too much of an issue like last year. I I thought that obviously, like compared to twenty twenty, like it obviously was an improvement. You I had a little bit of a glow up too, actually. Yeah, you guys kind of both had glow up years because yeah. you now are kind of doing what you want to do, like full time producing. Yeah. And okay. I graduated right. school, started doing all this, and like I I feel like I'm taking good steps. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe it's just me, huh? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We we all take it's all minor things, right? Sometimes, but yeah. it builds up. It's all your perspective. Yeah. All right. So everyone had a fucking good New Year's, dude. Mm-hmm. And guess what we got coming up on Sunday? Football. It's, football, it's the Cardinals football. versus the Seahawks, dude. Two birds. The birds are fucking going at it. And I don't know if this is maybe a car. This is like, a wolf. like the wolf pack from. I was NWO just thinking like the beak. From, yeah. From the and this beak. is like like a Seahawk just coming in fucking to get them, dude. Uh, so I'm super pumped about the Cardinal Seahawks game and you still haven't booked your hotel room. I have not. Are you going to do it or not? All right, Marissa, this is up to you. Okay. And this probably won't be out till next week. So you won't even know this is in the past. Uh, but we booked, uh, we booked a suite. Colby, you going? Uh, yeah, I'm going. You got yeah. two tickets. Are you bringing someone with you? Yeah, I got a, I got a friend. I'm probably. Is it that lady me. from New Year's? <laughs> nah, no. F that lady. Hey. <laughs> Dude, she's not coming. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, 
I'm looking around right now. I'm seeing who's interested because I have a buddy who's actually going to go there regardless. So I'll probably meet up with him and chill okay. uh, just to see what's going up with him. But Okay. Yeah. So we're going. Uh, we've got a suite. It's going to be fun. We're taking our contractors. We're treating them. We're going to tailgate beforehand, which I'm super pumped about because they're going to cook some like some real fucking tacos and shit. It's going to be yeah. fucking, we're going hard. Tailgating is a fun thing. We're going hard. I'm going to have to bring, I'm prepping my liver already to fucking just be ready. That's going to be like, I mean, the, t- the, the parking lot opens at 1030. So you got to imagine like probably by 1130, we're going to be drinking. The yeah. game's at 225, right? Yeah, yeah. correct. Okay. So three yeah. hours before the game, we're going to be drinking. And then that's a four hour game, right? Probably. It's how long. That's probably like three. three. Three and a half hours, but it's also whenever like the Seahawks play at the card stadium, it's usually a pretty close game. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. S- at six, we're going to at least continue drinking through six. And then you know what's going to happen. It's like we're going to want to go to like Westgate. You know, Westside gets a little dicey. Someone might get stabbed. I don't know what's going to happen. I've been there. But it, <laughs> it's going to be a day, dude. I'm. Fucking pumped up, dude. I can't fucking wait. Dude, this weekend football is going to be crazy. So many teams going to get kicked out of the playoffs. They're just going to, it's going to be a whole thing. So we looked it up today. The Cardinals can clinch the NFC West Mm -hmm. if, and this is not a football podcast, but it could become a football podcast. We still haven't, have we picked a lane? I don't know if we picked a lane yet. So we've been hitting science a couple mm, times though. Science. Science, uh, We talked about running (laughs) a little bit of real estate. I don't know. Could be a football podcast. We don't know yet. If the Cardinals win, and the Rams lose to the Niners, which they've lost the last five in a row to the Niners. Let's go. Uh, Cardinals clinch NFC West. Oops. So that would give them a home game, first home game of the playoffs. Yes, it would. Which is good. So that now the Rams and the Niners play at the same time as the Cardinals, Cardinals and mm-hmm. the Seahawks, which is a crazy, like, is it all division games of this last one of the year? They must have done that on purpose. Yeah, well, usually, like, the last game of the year is normally a divisional game, so... Got to, you got to set the tone yeah. before playoffs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I'm interested to see what happens there. I was telling Lucas, I hope that they'll be, the NFL will be smart about it, or the refs will be smart about it, and, like, do, like, the commercial timeouts on purpose for mm-hmm. the Cardinals game and make it last longer than the Rams game, like try and push the pace because that way if the Rams lose then it's like we'll get that last like five minutes of the quarter or whatever it is to figure out like okay how close are we to fucking getting it NFC West champs and I hope maybe we get get t-shirts and maybe there's like some sort like they do the fucking confetti out there because if it's NFC West champs drinking on the field I mean anything's possible baby you start drinking at 1130 anything's possible (laughs) that's true you know so I'm super pumped about that that's gonna be a good time I'm hoping that the Niners win because I am like a Niners fan. So, and and being the case of that, if the Niners win and the Saints lose, the Niners are in the playoffs. However, if the Niners lose and the Saints win, they're out. So you got something going on. Are you going to bet some money this weekend? Dude, I'm going to go to that sports book section in the card stadium and I'm just going to put it all in red. I mean, think about we can go sports book. We could 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 parlay a bet and that the Rams lose and the Cardinals win. That'd be kind of fun. Like a hundred bucks and just, Mm -hmm. I bet the odds would be, Pretty decent. It's I think Arizona and Vegas are the only stadiums that have uh, the ability for you to actually bet inside of yeah, them. Yeah, they just opened up a bunch of betting yeah. laws here. It's how nice now. Busy that session's going to be. You know what? Well, if you get in there early though, too. <laughs> yeah, it's not crazy. And honestly, even at like the biggest sports books in Vegas, like we've been there during March Madness, like it's busy for sure. Like to get a table is next to impossible. Like to sit and watch the sports betting, which is like the most fun part because all those degenerates just fucking lose their goddamn minds when things start happening. Uh, but it's you can always go. They have so many people. You can just like walk up and make a bet. It's not that big a deal. So we should maybe make a bet. Dude, that'd be fun. What's can we look up the odds on? Uh, do you do you ever do you ever sports bet? I don't, but I have a Neither buddy I that's do. like obsessed with it. So you can know we what? look up if there's like a parlay bet, but with the Rams and the Cardinals, mm, and see what let's the see. let's see there is for sure. There's got to be something. For see sure. if we can pull that up because I'm I'm interested to see. Maybe we'll make a bet, and maybe the hey, maybe the fans will bet with us, dude. All nine of them. Give oh, we're seven. Give us everyone. Bring a dollar. Are we seven? I want to see now. Well, this was back. When did we buy that trailer? July, maybe. All right, so we're going to say August. July, August, something like that. We were trying to buy a property, didn't pan out. Instead, 
there was a trailer down the street had a for sale sign, no phone number. So it's like the guy didn't want to sell the damn thing, probably. Which His is wife weird. Made him. So yeah, we were th- well, we were thinking wife made him, but that guy was single. He was divorced. True. So he was not. He was not trying to hide from his wife. He was just a moron. Perfect. Which didn't, is fine. Didn't whatever. have a phone number. Did a for sale sign on the trailer, which is awesome. Bought the trailer. Whatever. So Brandon's like, I oh, just picked up the trailer. I'm going to cruise by. I'm like, all right, well, I'm just down at the neighbor's house. He's like, what the fuck, what the fuck neighbors are you at? And I'm like, oh, yeah, just dude. get, when you I've get known him for a long time. He doesn't hang out with his fucking neighbors. Yeah, so I was so, like, already do my, it was, the red flags were up for me. I don't even remember how that happened. So we were, I think Marissa and I were out with the kids and we were just hanging out in the front of the house. Um, kids were playing or something and the neighbors came by and we're like, Hey, we have uh, grandkids and this, that, and the other They live in Minnesota, I think is what it is. Minnesota. Okay. How old are these folks? People, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if we should call them fifties. Oh, maybe like maybe forties to fifties, probably I'd say forties to fifties. Okay. So like late forties, early fifties, yes. which is honestly like, I used to think that was kind of old. Now I'm like, that's not, it's not that far. It's a fucking it's decade far, from dude. us. It's no, not, no, that it's not that far. <laughs> um, but they I said it was summertime. So they're like, Hey, do you want to, you, you and the kids want to come over and swim, whatever. And we're like, you know what? It kind of gets us out of the house. It's summertime. It's hot as hell. Yeah, let's just, whatever, we could do it. We're trying to, you know, give people the benefit of the doubt and be nice neighbors. And how did they, could they just came over to your house and knocked on the door? Or how no, we happen? were outside playing. Okay. Like, and they just we, like, we were outside. They were walking by or something. Y'all so were they, mingling, dude. Yeah. Okay. So we go over there. We, we're swimming. And what did this lady and gentleman look like? I mean, they're normal. A couple of whites. Yeah. A couple of whites. And he had, he was, he was he Toyota balding. Camry. And now is this like, is he like a little bit of a. No, I know his story's going. Is he like a little bit of a twink? Is he a little bit of a thick boy? Like what kind of what? A little thicker. A little thicky? Yeah. Okay. And is he balding? What are we talking yeah, about? Probably a little, a little bald going okay. on. Okay. So like old, old man bear is kind of what you're looking for. I mean, not what I'm looking for. And what's wifey like? What's she doing? She seemed more normal. Okay. More normal. And if you had to rate her on a scale of one to 10, just if you had to, if someone had a gun to your head, what would you rate her? Like for her age? I mean, just for her in six. general. You know, she's a soft six. Yeah. And she, but she had probably some hammers on her. Yeah. <laughs> good, so you got some decent neighbors, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> These are good neighbors. All right, no. continue. Anyway, so, um, so then we go over there. We're swimming. And it was fine, right? Everything was fine. You brought the trailer over. So I came out to the front, checked out the trailer real quick. Dope. Excited. Yeah. Cool. Got to go back in there. Literally, I was standing outside. I sweat my ass and off. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you to interrupt you again. Do they have any maybe fruit around the house? Any uh, pictures of fruit or any fruit laying in the house anywhere? Uh, yeah, in particular, pineapple mat, <laughs> right out the front door. Colby, you know what pineapple means? If oh, I know. It's like if it's upside down in a cart, that means that they're swingers, swingers or something like that. Yeah, yeah I dude. saw a TikTok. I think honestly, that, yeah. it's probably if you just had like a lot of pineapple, just, pineapple. you probably just get away from it, get away with it to begin with. Yeah. So. And we honestly, I, we, Marissa and I just found never out about put two the, and two together. Never. Like, why would you even think about that until very recently, or at that time, very recently? Yeah. Somebody said something, but I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah. So like, we already had, kind of had it in our and what mind. Was, and what was Twinkie Bear wearing? Was he wearing like a speedo, or was he? What's he? What's his deal? <laughs> oh, he just had like regular short time, old man board shorts type of thing. Okay, so he's um, normal. So we're swimming. They got a hot tub next to the pool. And uh, there's a, every once in a while, just a comment would come out. One comment was like, uh, I don't even remember his name. Hey, Marissa, you should come sit in the hot tub. It's really nice. Okay. It's fucking 115 degrees outside Middle right now. Middle of summer, baby. It's hot. This is our hottest time of the year for yeah. sure. August is like the so wildest part of the she's year. she's like, uh, and he's like, no, 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 come over here, come over here. And so in the end, she's like. <laughs> it's like all this weird oh, pressure. Okay. And you're like, all right. Go sit there. Sit on that jet right there and feel how good it feels. It was lit. There was like comments like that. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. I feel like usually isn't it the, like the woman's responsibility to kind of lead this stuff um, out? Well, that's where like she was like their, their, their relationship is something weird because he's leading this out. She was just like standing there like a sad puppy type of thing. Oh, no, dude. So there's more to it. Oh, no. So here's what we're going to have to go back over there. We're going to figure this out. Nope. Dude, I'm going to go knock on their door. Like, hey, me and Lucas want to come over. So I waved to him <laughs> as so me and uh, you go over there, dude. I went, I went, I drove by one day and they were, he was sitting out in a lawn chair and, and his on the driveway recently. Okay. I went the, the long way around so I didn't have to. Yeah. All right, all right. I see um, that. 
But anyways, back to the story. So she ended up sitting in the hot tub for a second, not sitting on a jet like she's asking. <laughs> and uh, so she's like, oh, so yeah, wild. it's nice. And I don't know. He like She's like, so she got out like right after and was like, all right, that was a little weird. Yeah, that was cool. Like, but you're not expecting any first. You're like, that was kind of a weird exchange. Like, Yeah, um, maybe it was just whatever. Like first, yeah, first round. I cannot remember, and I wish one of these times we're going to like dial in and call out so we can ask a question. I was going to say, you can put uh, Marissa on speaker and just do like this. All right, hold on. Let's do it. Let's do that real quick because that's going to be funny. Let her know we're on the pod so she doesn't talk shit about all of our fucking listeners and all our fans. There you go. Rude. Oh, my God. Dude, Rude. straight to voicemail. Okay. Are we live right now? She can tell what we're talking about. She didn't want to find me. I did tell her we're on it, but okay. I'll try one more time. She's probably got the kids. I'll try one more time. Um, but all right, never mind. She won't answer. But there was another comment. We were just in the pool at this time and uh, we're sitting there swimming and the kids are there. Like the kids are swimming, whatever. They're not really paying attention. Yeah. Um, but the kids were there. There's a comment that came up. It was something like, I don't even want to say it because she's going to call me back in a second. So I want to just say what you think it was. And it was literally something like, come guzzling, like something like that. Like there was a comment. There's kids in the mix here. We're talking about, I mean, mean, they're they're not like in that conversation, but But it was something around. Yeah. And it was like, Jesus, that's aggressive. Marissa like looked over me like this, especially for new neighbors, like fucking Uh, First time meeting you, you fuckers. <laughs> I mean, if I said some shit like that, like whatever. Fucking, I'm a moron. Everyone knows it. It was so, and she'll she'll know more what it is. I don't, uh. I don't remember what it was. And, and honestly, it wasn't necessary towards me because I didn't even hear it until she like looked over, like kind of got quiet, looked at me, is like, "Did you hear what he just said?" So I've got a little bit of a theory. <sighs> he okay, wants now, me. No, I think it's the other way around. What? I think maybe wifey wants a piece of you. And here's the thing. She's a little, maybe a little timid, a little shy. She's, she's like a little fox and she's like sitting back and she's waiting and she's letting him make all the moves. And of course, like swinging works the way swinging works. She's like, you got to cross paths. Okay. Oh, so I she, got more. all right. I got more. We awoke, we awoke I forgot, more of more. the story, dude. So we went in, so we, we finished swimming, which is like, oh God, we're getting closer. Now, to we got to go inside. We're getting closer. Up. Well, that, but we're like, oh, we're getting closer to leave. This is awesome. Oh, right. We're getting there. They made dinner. So we're like, uh, we got to eat. What was for dinner? First of all. I think it was like burgers, whatever. And it was all her. She did it all. I don't know if I trust them as far as I can throw um, them. Burgers? What kind of burgers? I don't know. Just like hamburgers, cheeseburgers, like burgers, burger burgers. Okay. Um, but Sides? One sides? time. Yeah. But one time we were coming inside and I don't remember his name. It's going to piss me off. But we were coming inside and um, he was like, Marissa was talking about what we do for work, and he's like, oh, I just redid, I just got our shower redone. Come take a look at it. <laughs> so, Mm-mm. of course. Not we, the whole hot tub thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we walk in there. We're like, walk in there, look at it. There's like a step, like in the corner, like n- nothing crazy. Like, this is Mm-mm. nothing that special, but cool, man. He's like, yeah, put your foot up on there. Like, feel how, like, that's a good height. Okay. All right. All right. I know where he's going with this. <laughs> So he says that, and we're like, what the fuck? There's like three things in the hour and a half, two hours we've been here. Like, this is wild. He was trying to say, hey, if you really need to, like, touch the ceiling, you could, like, that's good height. Dust it. Yeah, Screwdriver, dust, dust it. it. Yeah. He, was just, he was just talking Adjusting about. Adjusting the nozzle of the The, the dynamics shower. of the yeah. shower strictly. Okay, yeah, got that's it. That's it. And so after that, so we had, a, I, we were drinking, like, I was having a couple beers. She was having a couple of White Claws or something. Which at this point you need. After these weird comments. Yeah. Yeah. We need more. Well, the problem yeah. is he, he figured out like, war, oh, I can get more. He did white claw, like a lemon white claw with like a, a whiskey. And it was actually pretty good. I was going to say, I'm not mad about that part. It was actually really good. And I had so a couple, one good thing he's done so far in the story. I had a couple of them. And right before I had like the, I was finishing the first one and Marissa's like, all right, well, the kids are going to like, I'm going to take the kids home and they're going to like, it's bedtime for them, whatever. So he's like, all right, we'll just go, you know, put them down and then come back. And she's like, what? And he's like, no, it. yeah, just go put them down. I mean, you're only two houses down. <laughs> That's just not how go, this works. Go put them down and then just come back. <laughs> They're not old enough, right? No. No. <laughs> not, they were eight. She, the oldest, eight, Angelina's eight years old at that time. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> no. But he was full on serious. Like, that's what he was like. Pineapple boy, dude. Yeah. So that happened. So in the end, Marissa kind of 
fucked me over because she's like, no, Lucas can stay and hang out with you guys. Boof. And so he was already at yeah. that time. He ran to the kitchen, made another drink. Here you go. He's trying to make moves on you now. I don't know. But in the end, Oof. after that, he starts talking about his, his house is the exact same house as mine. Same floor plan. Okay. Just has like the. Uh, is it mirrored or is it the exact same? So it's exact same, but his um, living room is set up opposite. So his couch are looking towards their backyard. Yeah. Okay. So he's got this TV, whatever. It's a fucking beta move, by the way, to fucking flip your living room. Yeah. Fucking grow up, dude. Yeah. And he has some speakers, like surround sound speakers, dude. His wife then went, took a shower, went to bed, like got in bed to go to bed, right? He turns this speaker with Robin Thick blurred lines. <laughs> Robin Thick. Known swinger? I feel like known swinger. Is Robin Thick. I don't know. Am I, I off on tell this? You, but I feel like he's got that like energy. He does or have that energy. Now yeah. I didn't even really think about it. But literally, that's like the first thing he went to. And Dude. in that video, it's like Robin Thicke and then like all those girls down, dancing around and stuff. He's like, damn, look at that. Like, mm. fuck, <laughs> what would I do for that fucking thing? Right? Like, Dude. literally saying that. And mm. then he was at like 25 volume. He went up to like 90. <laughs> and his wife's supposed to be like trying to sleep right now. That motherfucker is just, <laughs> I don't even know the sound, but it was just. It was super loud, and I'm like, I may die here. Like, Dude, I a, may end up in the dungeon at this house. That there's a bunch of articles. Mm-hmm. I'm go- I just googled Robin Thicke swinger, and there's like Robin Thicke and Paulina Patton swingers question mark. Uh, woman Robin Thicke groped, and he said Paulina Patton have an open marriage. Dude, he did that on purpose. That was a move. That, well, I never really thought Ooh. about it. God, that's um, crazy, dude. But so that came up. Let me tell Marissa to call me because I want to know. Dude, this sounds like Get Out, like something like that, like the movie where it's it's the very like white suburban version of Get Out. Yeah, yeah. Here's your here's your white claws. Yeah, and then you get put into the. Except for the worst, it's going to happen. You might catch a dick in the mouth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Lucas would have anyways. (laughs) I'd have been fine. Need the need the (laughs) details on the podcast. Dude, um, that's so cool though. That someone was at least at, at least they were after you, bro. Like, listen, you may not want that, but at least they were pursuing you guys. You know what I'm saying? Which is a compliment. (laughs) Well, so after that, like, I finished that drink. Like, I chugged that drink, and I got out of there. Mm. And the best thing about it all is Marissa left me high and dry there. But guess whose number he has? Marissa's. Marissa's. Not mine. Oh. So it's awesome. Because then he texted us, or texted her, not us, and said, hey, this was, was like, two months after, like, no conversation has been made, none. Yeah. Hey, I got this Tide detergent that irritates my skin. Do you guys want it? What the fuck? No, bro. I don't want your... Throw it away. I don't want your leaky fucking detergent that has fucking herpes or whatever the fuck it has. No, that's gross. Uh, Yeah. What'd she say? She's not going to call you? Okay, one minute. Oh, so one minute, right, one, we'll minute. one more minute. We'll have that comment that We'll have confirmation of what was said. In the pool. Yeah. Me, Marissa, him, And she's probably like, he's making this whole playing. fucking story up. This never happened. Who is? Who y- said that? You. She's going to say that you made this whole fucking no, thing up. This won't. never happened. She will... She will... Here, here. All right, answer that shit. Hey, you're on the podcast right now. Oh, great. Hello. Okay, so the the people want to know. We have seven followers over here. The people <laughs> want to know. Let them know. Why or know what the neighbor, swinger neighbor, said to you in the pool about cum. Wasn't it something <laughs> like that? <laughs> he said, um... Yeah, boys are just young, dumb, and full of cum. Okay, like, all right. I mean, fuck? technically that's true, but yeah, it's aggressive. But for a 50-year-old man to say that to yeah, a neighbor you aggressive. just met? No, Especially the- and then my kids are literally swimming in the pool. And that's what I was, that was my like, first, it was like, okay, we're a little abrasive, huh? Yeah. A little aggressive. What else happened other than the swinger? Th- and we actually just looked up some facts. Robin Thicke is a possible swinger. Possible. There's that stories and rumors. We don't know, no, we can't confirm or deny. Of- then, then he asked me to get in his hot tub yeah. so he could turn his jets on. Yeah, look at them jet boys. And that's just probably that's good and neighborly. You know, you want to like, if your guests you come over, you want to warm them up. You know, yeah. it's only one hundred before the burgers. <laughs> it was the middle of summer, so then I'm like, okay, kids, do you guys want to get in the hot tub? So it's like all of us are getting in. What do you think was going to happen with all those kids I around? No, he, I don't. Think Honestly, he, mm, he's. I'm I gotta start you. a double guard. Hey. Disturbia. No, he asked me to take the kids home and put them to sleep because I'm like, 
all right, like, it's been fun. I'm going to go take the kids home, and I'm going to put them to sleep. And he's like, okay, and then you're coming back. And I'm like, ha-ha, like, funny. And he's like, no, I'm serious. And I'm uh, like, no, but Lucas can stay and have yeah, a exactly. Exactly. Threw him under the bus hard yeah, on that she one. she did. She did. He fucking deserves it. He's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, that was the first call-in we did on the podcast. And yeah, it was kind well, of awesome. <laughs> good job. Aww, You're the oh, first thanks. first um, guest that was calling in over voice, especially about a That's threesome. That's amazing. And we talked about swingers. I love it. Yeah, yeah so. it's fine. All right. Hey, well, just remember to not have your pineapples like in the front of your home because that's like swinger status. Just yeah. So yeah. Know. Upside down. Upside down. Or do apples. if that's what you want to do. And we're yeah. not here to judge. So. Yeah. Or do. Yeah. yeah. So. Whatever. 2020, 2022, baby. Go wild. Okay. You guys have fun. All right. Adios. Bye. Bye. Well, I'm so. glad she confirmed that for you because for a minute I was thinking you're a fucking liar for a second. Dude. <laughs> I mean, True. that the comment was a little different than what I said. The cum guzzling? Yeah. Yeah. But I just <laughs> don't remember different. what it was. It is, but I at the same time, it's like a, a 50, like, I don't even know where the conversation came from when he said it, that. Here's the thing. If it's a group of guys and someone says it, not a fucking big deal. Yeah. But when there's women around, especially with there's children, yes. like even with an earshot, mm-hmm. it's a little aggressive. Weird. Actually, he's super aggressive. And now that I'm starting to think about it, like, oh, that's kind of weird. Like... You gotta watch that guy. Fuck yeah. Him. Well, I'm gonna move to catch a predator, dude. I'm gonna move. So, well, yeah, Lucas is moving, dude. So I'm we don't moving. give a fuck anymore. I'm selling that. I'm and not, I'm gonna I'm and I'm gonna move into your house and rent it. So like, come over and talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> dude. dude, you just gotta make sure you don't have one of those neighbors like in the show. You. Yeah, dude. I'm always out there just like grilling pineapples and like fucking uh, <laughs> pineapple. You're you're pineapple ring toss. dressed up in a pineapple walking down the street like yeah every day. I have like pineapple shoes. Wait, I got a big question here. Do you think SpongeBob's a swinger then? Ooh, <sighs> bikini bottom. He lives in a pineapple. That's Under the thing. This, yeah. And it's bikini Under bottom. Um, I don't know, man. Krusty Krab. It's all about he, him and Sandy. There's dude. a lot of questions. Though. I don't know. Yeah, and Sandy's. And no offense to anyone out there, but Sandy's clearly a lesbian. Astronaut? Listen, I I don't have a problem with it, but like I feel like if you're gonna like typically males take more of the engineering roles, she's an astronaut. I listen, I'm just spitting out facts here. I, I can't know. I, I can't know. say or confirm. I, I don't, don't know. know. Yeah. Well, whatever. It's a theory. So well, the jury's out on that one, dude. We'll fucking we'll get into the next pod. Is that it? I'm wrap it. I think that's uh I think that's a wrap. I got a, I got attacked one time by swingers. I'll do a quick story. I got attacked one time by swingers in Mexico. Lesbian. Mexico. Swingers. Oh. Mexico. Ooh. We were just in a bar at the hotel. Actually, Cameron was with me. I don't know if she knows this part of the story. I don't know if I briefed her on kind of what was happening, but like we were in the bar. Catherine was like, I'm not going out. She was, you know, she's, fucking, she's a sissy, so she's not going to go out. So we were taking shots of tequila at the bar and this couple starts to talk to us. Da, 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 da. We're from Safford. I'm like, oh, I was just in Safford. I go, we just ate it. Um, what is that? Damn, Something freeze. Called, yeah. Taylor freeze. Taylor freeze. I go, we ate Taylor freeze. I go, the, uh, I go, shout out Taylor freeze. She goes, he goes, what do you know about Taylor freeze? I go, dude, I know a lot about Taylor freeze. We just ate there. I go, actually the owner, the lady, the, the wife, I go, she's the one that rang us up. I saw her on the picture on the wall and he goes, dude, that's my mom. He goes, my mom sold you that hamburger or whatever. I'm like, that's kind of a fucking crazy chance encounter. So we start partying with us. He's like, Hey, you guys want to come back to our uh, thing we're on the bottom level. I'm just like, I'm like, whatever, dude, we're fucking partying. The bar was shutting down. It's just Mexico. So I'm like, kind of sometimes it just naturally happens. And the wife starts talking to me and she goes, you know, I don't want to be like perverted or anything, but she's like, I saw you and your wife in the pool and you guys are really good looking. And I was like, that's kind of a weird thing to say, but like, all right, whatever. Shout out to us, dude. We're fucking we're a couple of fucking dimey dimes hanging out in Mexico, dude. Fucking whatever, dude. Fuck it. Everyone else is ugly. We're good looking, dude. It is what it is. That's not my fucking fault. We just are naturally good looking. So and I didn't really think anything of it. And then like a couple of other weird things happen where they make like these weird passes, but I was so drunk that I just didn't even put two and two together. And I didn't put it together until like a week later. I'm like, oh my God, they were swingers. They like put all their kids to bed and they were trying to like, they were trying to get us. To, and I'm like, I'm like, Cameron was there, but I don't think, I think they knew because I said it was my sister-in-law, but they were still like trying to like make moves. It was weird, dude. Weird. It feels, it's a weird feeling afterwards when you know like, oh, they were trying to make moves on us. And they wanted to do weird things with our bodies. <laughs> they and they to did. Touch us and they they did. did. I mean, they did. That's what they their did? intentions were. Oh. I mean, that's what those guys' intentions were. Pineapple boy. Fucking. So, I, I don't do know, think man. he even had pineapple board shorts on, too. You see? I think there was a couple things. Like, there was, I think, two or three different pineapple Now you know what to look for, on. dude. Now you know the signs. Someone's like, hey, come over to my house. You're like, mm, what are you wearing? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. 
So. What kind of fruit are we having? Fruit basket or pineapple? You know what, man? If nothing else, our seven followers, if you guys, if nothing else you can take we, away from this, is like, taught you something. watch your ass. Literally. Quite literally, watch your ass if there's pineapples around because they'll get you. Dude, they're coming for you. You don't know where they're at. They're lurking in the shadows, waiting to have you sit on a jet in a jacuzzi, dude. Jetting them. Jetting them out. Is that it? We good? I think that's it. All right. That's it. Sweet Night Podcast. We're out. Peace.